Now we discuss about the recurrence relation between probabilities of binomial distribution. That is if we have f of x we can obtain f of x plus 1. Okay we can derive a relation. So that we assume x as binomial n p which implies f of x equal to n c x p raised to x q raised to n minus x x equal to 0, 1, x zeta to n, 0 less than or equal to p less than or equal to 1, q equal to 1 minus p, isn't it? Therefore, we can write f of x plus 1, which is n c x plus 1, p raised to x plus 1. Q raised to n minus of x plus 1. Okay. Now we find f of x plus 1 divided by f of x. Okay. So it is simply n c x plus 1 p raised to x plus 1 q raised to this is n minus x minus 1 divided by n c x p raised to x q raised to n minus 6. So that we can write n c x plus 1 as n factorial by x plus 1 factorial into n minus of x plus 1 factorial. That is n minus x minus 1 factorial. Isn't it? Into P raised to X plus 1. Q raised to N minus X minus 1. Divided by. Okay. N factorial divided by X factorial into N minus X factorial. Okay. Into P raised to X. Into Q raised to N minus 6. So that we obtain n factorial cancels. This goes to the numerator. That is x factorial into n minus x factorial divided by x plus 1 factorial into n minus x minus 1 factorial. P raised to now all these terms. We divide so that P raised to X plus 1 minus 6 into Q raised to N minus X minus 1 minus N plus X. Okay. So here X factorial X plus 1 factorial. This is X factorial into X plus 1. That is remaining term in the denominator is X plus 1. Now this can be written as n minus x minus 1 factorial into n minus n minus x minus 1 factorial into n minus 6. So that we get n minus 6 remaining in the numerator and here into p by q into p. Okay. By q raised to minus 1 remaining that is p by q. That is, this is f of x plus 1 by f of x. Isn't it? f of x plus 1 by f of x is n minus x by x plus 1 into p by q. So, we obtain, what is it? We obtain uh, f of x plus 1 from here. Therefore, f of x plus 1 is, we get it as n minus 6 by x plus 1 into p by q into f of x. Okay, n minus x by x plus 1 into p by q into f of x. Now, from the f of x, we obtain when x equal to 0, we get f of 0 is n c 0, p raised to 0, q raised to n, isn't it? 
f of 0. So that we get q raised to n. And the remaining probabilities can be obtained using this relation. That is x equal to 0 implies from here we get f of 1 n minus 0 by 1 into p by q into f, uh, f of 0. That is when x equal to 0 we get f of 1 etc. x equal to n minus 1 we get f of n. What is f of n? f of n is n c n which is 1. p raised to n q raised to 0. That is f of n is p raised to n. Okay. So, we have f of x plus 1 here. Now, this is applied in fitting of binomial distribution. What is meant by fitting of binomial distribution? Fitting of binomial distribution. That is, we are given a frequency distribution for which x takes values 0, 1, etc. to n. Okay. With the corresponding frequencies f0, f1, f2, etc. fn. Such that the total frequency sigma fi equal to capital N. Okay. Now by fitting of binomial distribution, we replace these frequencies by the binomial expected frequencies. How we can obtain this? Expected frequencies for binomial distribution can be obtained as EI equal to capital N into F of X. Now F of X is obtained using binomial distribution, binomial probabilities. That is... Uh, we have to obtain, we assume x as binomial ENP. So that we have to obtain the two parameters of binomial distribution for the given data. N can be obtained from the given data using the values of x. Okay, so that N is, can be taken as the last value of x. That is, there exists n plus 1 values for binomial distribution. Remember, n plus 1 values for binomial distribution. Last value of x gives the value of n. Suppose we are chosen a coin 5 times. We have the result. The value of x ranges from 0 to 5, isn't it? When we choose 5 coins, the, number of, the maximum number of heads is 5. That is, we can obtain n as the last value of x. Then, uh, p may be known or unknown. If p is unknown, p is estimated by equating the mean of the given frequency distribution x bar with that of the binomial mean which is n p. Okay. Where x bar is the, what is it, x bar for the given frequency distribution, x bar is 1 by capital N, sigma x into f, isn't it? 1 by capital N, sigma x into f. So, if p is or not, we estimate p such that p as equal to here. From here, we get p as equal to x bar by small n, where n is the parameter of binomial distribution. Okay? So, x bar, p estimate equal to x bar by n implies q estimate equal to 1 minus p estimate. Okay? Therefore, f of x equal to uh, n c x p raised to x q raised to n minus x. Now we obtain f of 0 as equal to q raised to n. The other probabilities are obtained using the recurrence relation f of x plus 1 equal to n minus x by x plus 1 into p by q into f of x. Now directly EI expected frequency equal to capital N into F of X. Okay. So that we can formulate a turbulence. 
represent the expected frequencies of binomial distribution expected frequency table okay that is we consider the values of s 0 1 2 etc to n f of s as the next column we calculate and we have f of 0 equal to q raised to n now the next column is e i equal to capital n into f of x okay so that we can we can obtain these values and we should remember one point the sigma e i sigma e i should be equal to capital n yeah? the total frequency okay sigma e i equal to capital n yeah? the total frequency okay so we have finished with the fitting of binomial distribution yes thank you